Hello, welcome. Well, I've bought myself some little scales because I'm starting another, another blog. It's all about how big, also how heavy. So that's why I've got these little scales, little balance. Now, this little balance here, this is uh, obviously from China, like pretty much everything. And I got it via Amazon. And I paid the measly sum of about 12 euros. No, 11 euros. 10.99 to be fact, on Prime. If you wanted to wait, you could probably get it for, you know, probably half that. Because they, they obviously they bump in the postage and what have you. But anyway, we're going to do this little unboxing and then we're going to do a little test of it and see um, how good it is. I've got my weights here. These are, should be pre-calibrated weights. I can see they've got little calibration marks on them. So I hope they're pretty accurate-ish. Or accurate enough to get pretty near with this. But then what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at the different types of um, weights that are actually, well, that, that can actually weigh. Different, yeah, this isn't just grams, it isn't just ounces and pounds. It does other stuff as well. DWT. Dead weight tonnage, apparently. It's all to do with shipping and what have you. And then GN, which is all about, um, well, grain. Anyway, while you're here, if you can always kind and click like and subscribe, and maybe that little bell icon, because then you get a warm fuzzy video in your pocket, and that'll be me uploading another video. And I know you'd be excited about that. Anyway, let's get back to the video about my little set of scales. So, in this little box here, we are going to find our little set of scales and a manual in Chinese. Now, that's pretty exciting, wouldn't you say? So, yeah, we have a manual that's in Chinese, but it, luckily it's also in English. Yay! Right, and then we have a USB lead. Now, why have we got a USB lead for our scale? It's because they're rechargeable scales. We don't have to put batteries in these scales. Now, this particular model is the 3 kilo model. It's the 3,000 gram model. So, it can actually weigh a higher weight than some of the other versions they do, which I think actually written on the side here, so it is. If you look on here, they do a, a USB or battery version. They do a 200 gram model, which measures down to, or increments of 0.0, or zero, so 0 0.01 of a gram. And then they have a 300 gram mo model as well, which is pretty much the same um, accuracy, the 500 gram same accuracy, but then when you get to the higher scale, such as this 3000 gram model, it's 0 0.1 one tenth of a gram on the 3000, 2000, 1000 gram, or 1 kilo, 2 kilo, 3 kilo model. So I've got the 3 kilo model because it suits the range of things that I want to do with it. And you know, 1 tenth of a gram, that's pretty close for me. I'm not measuring drugs, you know. What else does it say on here? You've got, on the front here, tells you what it actually weighs in. The, um, the categories of weight, grams, ounces, OZT. Isn't that troy weight? Ounces. Troy ounces. So you've got ordinary ounces, which is the Dupois, Avoir Dupois ounce. The ordinary ounce. You've got the troy ounce. Now, they're not the same. They're actually quite a bit different in weight, the Troy and the Ordinary Ounce. Then we've got the DWT, which is Dead Weight Tonnage, and that's to do with shipping and displacement. Don't quite understand why you need it on a little set of scales like this, but I'm sure there's a reason for it. We have the CT, which is to do with carrots. Not the carrots you dig out of the ground, but the carrots that we use to categorise a diamond. So if you're lucky enough to have a nice one carat diamond, that is how you'd weigh your one carat diamond. And then we have the GN, and the GN is for the grain. So it would be, this measurement was based on a grain of barley. And then we have pounds, and then we have TL. I'm not certain what TL is. Um, that is a form of measurement, but not, I'm not sure what that is. And then we have ML, and I'm not sure what that one is either. They're all units of weight, but I'm not quite certain what that actually means. Now, on the face, I've got backlight display, auto off in 60 seconds. 
large platform which is it's about four inches square or 100 mil square it has a tar range with tar range what they mean by that is your zero so you can use the zero button to zero the tray or you can if it's not when you turned it on it does tar so it's already zeroed but if you've got something you want to take the weight away from it such as you've got something in something like the tray and you don't want away the tray you press your zero or your tar range button and then it calibrates itself and calibration is auto calibration it does it every time you turn it on and it comes with two clear bowls so two little trays it comes with uh, a deep and a shallow needless to say it's made in china but we already covered that one didn't we so the weight of the unit itself because obviously you can't weigh itself is 275 grams so that is that so let's put that to one side now and that's how to play let's see what we've got we've got a cable so if you want to charge it you can but we're not going to worry about that at the moment first tray so that's your big tray your larger tray and then we have the actual scales itself and then we have another tray so you've got two trays you've got a little shallow tray like this one here and then you've got a deeper slightly larger tray there now this is where you'd use your tar button to zero it without anything so you've got your tray and you want to put something in your tray you don't want to be measuring a tray and the thing that you want away so you zero it with the tray on and then it'll reset itself i'll show you that in a moment so we get what we get is we get the two little trays we get a cable to charge it with it's just an ordinary usb um cable micro usb cable and you get your scales itself now hopefully they got a bit of charging so let's turn it on it says hello hello and it set itself up to be in grams but also it zeroed so if you can see that on there it zeroed itself well not when you move it <laughs> so what we're going to do is now we're going to test it so what we have we have that zeroed and you can do that by pressing your tar button which is your zero button here you can then place your tray on and as you see the tray has weight we don't necessarily want that weight so you can zero the tray so you press your tar button again and then it allows for the weight of the tray whether it be the big tray or whether it be the little tray. i took the tray off now it's gone into minus so we have a tray on and obviously it weighs less than that one so we need to zero it again and now we have the weight of that tray taken away from the actual weight of whatever you want to put in your scales in this case this little cable here is 14.9 grams so let's remove that let's remove the trays we're not going to use the trays for the moment because we're going to test it using these weights here so let's zero so we, so we need to zero the scale and I'm going to start with this little tiny weight here, which I believe is a, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what that, I think it's 10 grams. It might be a 10 or it might be 20, I think it's a 10 gram. So hopefully that's going to say 10 grams. Bang on. How is that? So that's proving a fairly light weight at 10 grams. These scales are bang on. And that weight is probably bang on. It's banging. Let's try a different one at 10 grams. Let's see if it's exactly the same. Bang on very good isn't it and now we're going to try the 20 so 20 or 25 oh it's yep bang on so so far so good these little scales seem to be working quite well from 10 to 20 and now we're going to move up to the 50 oh either this the weight is slightly out or all the scales aren't 100 percent push it zero there is try again 49.2 so i got a feeling that this weight might be a little bit out now we can test that by actually seeing what these other weights weigh that we've got here and see whether or not they weigh accurately it might be this one it might be on the light side by only by 0.8 of a gram so we're going to try this if i get it out <laughs> we've got 100 bang on so that's a so i think as that weight wasn't 100 percent. this one is and now we're going to go up to the 200 grams which is this one. Ooh, might be on the heavy side it's always got stuff stuck to it so 
So it's 0.2 of a gram heavy according to this. Oh, I think the weight is heavy, not the actual scales right, because the other weights seem to have been pretty accurate to say the least. Right, now I'm going to jump up to 500 grams because I've got this. And I'm going to plonk that on there like so, and that's 500 grams. How accurate is that? Now, for an iron weight like that, that isn't bad. Not bad at all. 0.3 of a gram out. Well, for that type of weight, I'm not worried. That is pretty good. So, so far, so good. I'm quite convinced that these actual scales work very well. Now, I'm going to put it into ounces now because I've got a couple of ounce weights I can test. So, it's that. DWT, so it's um, dead weight tonnage. Uh, ounces T, so that's Troy ounce. We don't do that. We want ounces, ordinary ounces. So that's ordinary ounces, and now we're going to put a one ounce on. That's bang on one ounce, isn't it? So that's very good news. And let's have a look at a half an ounce. Let's see you guys in America. Half an ounce. So, so far, so good. I'm actually quite convinced that these scales are pretty accurate. And any disc discrepancies we've already had, like for instance this one, is because the weight itself is a bit on the heavy side. Oh, it's an ounce. 7.06 ounces. Let's put it back in grams. Try again. So it's not far off. That's 200 grams. That's 200.2 of a gram. That is pretty close, to be fair. For that kind of weight. We don't know how close these have been calibrated. So anyway, these are my little scales that I got from Amazon. And I'll leave a link below. Anyway, thank you for watching my unboxing video of my new scales. In this case, CH wears. Which probably means China wears, I imagine. But anyway, these are my new scales. And they seem to work really well. I proved it. Or I hope I did. Anyway, while you're here, if you most kind, of click like and subscribe. And maybe a little bell icon. Then you get a warm, fuzzy feeling in your pocket. And that'll be me uploading another video.